Welcome to the Trinamix Fab Connect demo. Here's a quick walkthrough of the key features. One can configure manufacturing sites. Planners can create lots of allocate wafers. Fab Connect supports cost rollup and invoicing workbench to help finance and accounting. You can define rules, orchestrate transactions, define co-products and manage all your semiconductor transactions and access the necessary reports to do your daily tasks. The following shows the high-level demo flow. We would create a lot and pick wafers. FabConnect would then create a work order in the Oracle and consume the component. The manufacturing site would manufacture the product and send the transactions. The transactions would get replayed into Oracle, and this would all be managed using the FabConnect monitoring workbench. Let us look at the step number one, create lot. As you can see, FabConnect front-end looks a part of Oracle Fusion. We're going to show a manual lot creation process wherein the planner would choose the item to be manufactured, approximate planned quantity, start date, the lot number, the mark lot number, type of work order, regular, engineering, Quell, etc., and chooses the test site. At this point, the system would display the potential components, primary or substitute, and based on the availability, the user can then pick the component item to then allocate the desired lots. FabConnect contains the Wayfarald information for lots and provides all the tools to manage that information. The component shown may not be the immediate component and can be multiple levels deep in the bomb chain. When the planner chooses the preferred component, the system would then show the available lots, its aging and other relevant details for the planner to make an informed choice. In this example, we're going to pick a wafer of our choice after filtering on the available wafers. The planner can easily specify a part of a wafer to be consumed and, once done, Create the lot. Upload to cloud. Let us take a quick look at Oracle to show that the lot has not yet been interfaced into Oracle. As you can see, the search results has no rows. We're now going to manually launch the process to interface the lot into Oracle. Typically, this would be a scheduled and automated task. This process would create the lot and consume the raw material component that we selected. Take a look at Oracle to see if the lot has been created. As you can see, the lot has been created and it shows the steps it is going to go through and also you can see that the component has been issued successfully. File Transfer This is a row sentent 7B1 transaction file converted to Excel. The lot is going through several transactions to complete with the quantity of 11,549 units. We'll now load the file. Again, this is a step that would be automated. This process loads the data into the staging area as seen in this workbench screen. The next step is to transform the incoming file to FabConnect format. We have several split transactions, merged transactions, and also, after completion, will get translated into the mark lot that we had indicated during the create lot step. Now, for the sake of this demo, we're going to manually launch the program to process the transformed file. Again, this is typically a scheduled task. FabConnect has successfully processed the file with appropriate scrape transactions at the yield step, completed the quantity per the file, and performed the outside processing steps with the right resource transactions. Let us now log into the inventory module, search for out item, and see the completed lot number. This is a standard Oracle Fusion step. 
as you can see, FabConnect has completed lot number the way we wanted, as Mark FC 2018A. This concludes the basic FabConnect demo. Thank you.